Today we're at Great Sand Dunes National Park um, at Dollar Lake. We're just outside of the sand dunes themselves. We've gotten a Youth Conservation Corps from the local community to come out and uh, they're collecting dragonfly larvae as part of this national mercury um, bioaccumulation study. They're trying to um, identify which areas in national parks have um, mercury accumulating in insects and which would then move up the, the food chain into possible human contamination. So we're here at Bear Lake in Rocky Mountain National Park um, with a group of students from Eagle Rock School. They're citizen scientists and they're collecting dragonfly larvae. Mercury, while it's a, a natural element that can be found spewing out of volcanoes, for instance, is also a man-made pollutant. So it's really unhealthy if levels are elevated. Rocky is one of upwards to 50 parks that is participating in the project, working with students or volunteers or teachers to collect these larvae and get them analyzed. We're going to see the students get in the water um, with nets, looking for and collecting um, dragonfly larvae. Um, and then we're also going to see the students bringing those larvae back on shore, um, IDing them, keying them out to family. And then we have a procedure that we're following where we're going to package up these dragonfly larvae and get them ready to be sent off to the lab. I've been in private schools all my life, but this is the only one where it's really been um, hands-on outdoor education. I get to move around and actually like catch bugs, which is, which is always fun, no matter what you're doing. And so it's just really great. For me personally, it's a good experience because I've never done this before. So just coming around and finding mainly <laughs> snails and fish, but it's, it's pretty fun. I like it. It's wonderful to have this uh, youth involvement here at uh, Great Sand Dunes in this uh, science uh, monitoring project because uh, the these kids are our future managers and uh, if you have an understanding of a resource and an appreciation for it then you are become a great steward. When our students are using their hands and outside being able to touch uh, what they're learning about, it's a lot more effective uh, being here than in the classroom. So doing hands on things I think you get the better type of learning because it's Oh, I done did it before, so I'll remember it later on in life. I think it's really exciting to see kids get enthused about the environment. It's really neat to see our future generation um, get out there and be in the national parks and learn about them and learn about what might be harming them. Science is everywhere around us. and. Uh, the best science is done in the dirt. It's like it's getting your hands dirty, it's getting in there. And that's the fun thing is that everyone out here is a scientist today. Everyone, everyone always is a scientist, just kind of evaluating your, your surroundings. We say the earth isn't ours, we borrow it from our children. So these kids will go on and have an understanding of this and that knowledge is passed on and then hopefully it'll be passed on into the future all the way to infinity. I love science and I love nature. Put those two things together, it's awesome for me. Thank you so much for watching our video. Check out last month's episode of Outside Science Inside Parks by clicking here and like us on Facebook to keep up to date with all of our newest releases. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking below.